Hey, it's Greg Noby, Community Storyteller for Kentucky's Heartland, and there is my friend Dustin Shepard with Bluegrass Sportsplex, and we are going to be talking about a fun event happening at the Bluegrass Sportsplex, the Bluegrass Sportsplex Spooktacular. Dustin, it's going to be a lot of fun this Saturday, right? It is. It is going to be so much fun. We are really, really excited about it. We're hoping the rain's going to hold off for our event, but... You know what the great thing about our building? It's all inside, so it doesn't matter if it rains or not. We're still going to put this baby on. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. Outside of parking and, and, and finding your way into the venue, uh, the rain's not going to affect your event at all. So, exactly. and Well, I guess to an extent, because you got, I mean, this is not just a, as I say, a grab-and-go candy event. This is more of a uh, grab some candy, stay for some fun for quite a while, because you have so much more than just the candy. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is going to be a huge event. Uh, we're going to have, we have seven food trucks now uh, for this event. We're going to have um, over 50 vendors that are going to be handing out um, candy um, on our basketball court of things. Um, and then we're also going to have inflatables, games, um, prizes that you can that you can get while you're here as well. And then some of our uh, local business partners that are actually located here inside the Bluegrass Sportsplex are going to be doing some fun events as well. Um, CKA, Julie Vandiver, that you're going to be doing a haunted house over in their gymnastics gym that you can go over and do. Um, and then upstairs um, with our new group, uh, Simu Golf E-Town with Cody Elmore, um, they're actually going to be doing a long drive uh, competition up there that day where you can win 50% of a pot, um, whoever has the longest drive that day. So that'll be something cool to do as well. You know, I mean, if, if the gymnastics folks really want to make it scary, they can have me come and do a cartwheel. That's probably the scariest <laughs> thing people would see all day. <laughs> yeah. You and me both. And I'm just that... sitting outside waiting for me. <laughs> so the event runs from two until six, but it's kind of fragmented up a little bit. So talk about the candy side of it all. So if you've got these kids that are strategically working on their candy, uh, investment for 2021 uh <laughs> when is the time they need to have this on their on their schedule absolutely so their schedule needs to be booked for two to four um our, we are going to be doing the candy aspect from two to four p.m doors will open at two so even if you get here at 12 o'clock you're still gonna be sitting outside until two waiting for the doors to open um and then that will go two to four is what the vendors and the booths will be handing out candy. So at four o'clock, that line will be cut off. So whoever's in line will still be able to get their candy. Uh, so you're, you're not going to be cut off if you're in line at four o'clock. If you haven't gotten it, you will still have the chance to go through that line. But anybody after four o'clock, they will be moved to where you can just go hang out, play on the inflatables, play games, get to go visit our other booths um, out there, go hang out at the food trucks. Um, and then also they're going to be giving out pre-packaged bags of candy. So if you didn't make that, you're not going to miss out either. All right. So how many vendors are we talking when you talk candy vendors? So we're talking one or two or, 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 or what's the plan with that? 50, you're talking over 50 vendors. So there's going to be probably a quarter of a million or more pieces of candy in our facility that day. So all the dentists are very, very happy. I'm going to need you to count all that and, and report back to make sure that's accurate for tax purposes right there. I was going to, write to say that we need to do a tax tax write off on that too. <laughs> there you go. So it is going to happen this Saturday. It is October the 30th from two until 6 PM over at the sportsplex. It is the bluegrass sportsplex spooktacular. I like hey, that. It, and I love the fact that you guys are doing so much more than that, that it is, uh, it, there's games for the kids. There's inflatables and, and the food trucks, my gosh, seven food trucks, seven food trucks. And then add another one in there because we're going to have our concession stand at the sportsplex open that day as well. So really you've got eight options, um, which is, and they're all different. None of them are going to be selling the same thing. So you're talking about a, a full variety of food that you can be able to get that day. You're going to be able to get it. So, and we're really, really excited. We have a ton of amazing food truck vendors that are coming out. And then also a ton of, of options at our concession stand. All right. It is the Bluegrass Sportsplex Spooktacular happening this Saturday from 2 until 6 p.m. BGSportsplex.com. And, you know, when that venue was planned and was being built, you know, it was always said that it's going to be a place that the community can go to enjoy some sports activities and other things. That was always stated. I guess this would fall into that other things. And, 
and that is definitely being held up. <laughs> They're holding up their end of the bargain for sure. The yeah, sports place. very much. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the amazing thing about this facility. Um, it is so versatile and it can be used for basically anything. I mean, from, from doing a spectacular event to doing a humongous national basketball exposure event to in November, we're going to be hosting a pay-per-view UFC cage match, um, which is, I mean, so you have a full spectrum of events there. And then on top of that, all the other businesses that are involved here and then hosting business meetings, uh, banquets, project grads. I mean, literally there is nothing that we cannot do here at the Bluegrass Sportsplex, which makes it so amazing. But just for us to be able to do, to do a free emphasis on the free community event like this upcoming event this Saturday is something that this building is meant for. And this is built and meant for our community to come in and enjoy in every single way possible. So, and we're keeping growing and adding more and more new things. So you got to keep checking it out. Somebody the other day I was talking to, they're like, every time I come in there, there's something new that has been added. So you always got to come in and check us out. Good deal. BGSportsplex.com, the website. If you want to get more information about this event, the easiest way to go is Kentucky'sHeartland.com. Go to the community calendar, click on the link there. All the information you need, including turn-by-turn directions to get you through the Sportsplex there. Uh, is available for you. Dustin, appreciate the time. I can't wait to see what your costume is going to be on Saturday. Um, it's going to be dressed as Dustin Shepard, so that's what I'm going to be. Well, that's <laughs> disappointing, so there we go. <laughs> Probably one of the most disappointing things I've heard all day, but uh, either way, Saturday, Blue, Bluegrass Sportsplex, they're a big spooktacular. He is Dustin Shepard with the Sportsplex. I'm Greg Milby, community storyteller, and this is Kentucky's Heartland.